Hi, my name is Rebecca from ingvid.com. In today's lesson, you'll learn how to use the word unless correctly in English. Now, the word unless expresses a negative condition. That means that unless one thing happens, something else cannot happen. Let's look at some examples on the board, and I think you'll learn this very easily. Okay? Let's get started. Now, for example, let's take the first sentence. You can't go to university if you don't finish high school. So the negative condition here is if you don't finish high school, right? So instead of saying if you don't, you could say you can't go to university unless you finish high school, okay? You can't go to university if you don't finish high school or you can't go to university unless you finish. So here you see that we had to use the negative words, if you don't. But when we use the word unless, it does that automatically. Let's look at another example. You can't enter the club if you don't have ID. ID is short for identification. You can't enter the club unless you have ID. You can't enter the club unless you have ID. Next one. You can't visit Italy if you don't get a visa. So what do we do? Replace this and we can say you can't visit Italy unless you get a visa. You can't borrow books if you don't have a library card. How would we change that using unless? You can't borrow books unless you have a library card. Last one. You can't pass the TOEFL if you don't prepare. How would you change that using unless? You can't pass the TOEFL unless you prepare. All right? Next, I'll give you an exercise so you can practice this a little bit better. Now let's try a couple of examples with unless. Let's say this is the situation. John can't go out unless he does a few things. So how would you say that? John can't go out unless he finishes his homework, unless he cleans his room, unless he takes a shower. Okay, good. Let's see if you can do this one. You can say it at home. I can't improve my English unless I read more books, I write more often, I watch more Ingrid lessons. Okay, so you see how unless can be used in these examples. Try your best to write some sentences of your own, create a situation that today I can't do this unless I do that. And each day, if you write a sentence like that with what you need to do or what has to happen before something else can happen, you will learn how to use the word unless. So if you'd like to do a quiz on this subject, you can go to our website, www.ingvid.com. All the best with your English. Bye for now.